okay thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to present uh, our paper this paper is about the dynamics uh, of transportation urbanization and economic growth and especially we are interested to find out the environmental regulation either these environmental regulation uh, does matter in asian six countries or not so um, uh, we will start uh, from the introduction and the background uh, because nowadays we can see that that the world is suffering from the environmental uh, pollution issues in last recent decades as uh, our conference also about the economics the energy and environmental regression and a significant number of uh, res researches has been conducted and significant volume of research is available uh, on this uh, topic so however uh, we have a major gap remaining the pursuing the policy implementation regarding the transportation and urbanization and economic growth which has been mentioned by the anwar at our recent study so i we have picked that gap and more furthermore we also incorporated uh, the impact of the increasing urbanization and uh, more impact on the per capita income and then more demand for the transportation and services it creates a higher uh, demand for the energy and energy demand creates the environmental pollution so that's the energy demand side channel of the economy and then it's also need to effective policy measure on a such as environmental regulation among the others because when the rapid increase in population the rapid increase in uh, growth and industrialization and it ultimately it increases the rapid demand for uh, transportation and energy and which ultimately leads to the environmental degradation and uh, based on all this this uh, discussion we have uh, interested we are interested to find out either what are the role of the transportation services in environmental uh, pollution and how environmental uh, how our economic growth and urbanization affect the environmental pollution and lastly we are keenly interested to find out either the is there any link of environmental regulation affect the environmental pollution so uh, based on this uh, we have uh, six asian countries uh, based on the data availability data start from the 1990 2020 and these countries are indonesia malaysia philippines singapore and thailand and vietnam all these countries have been selected based on data availability uh, and time span as well so empirical model is that the green gas emission is a function of the tra uh, the transportation and uh, an environmental regulation gdp and urbanization and then uh, we also uh, where green gas emission is measured by the carbon emission which is taken as a british petroleum and then we also have an environmental regulation we have measured this uh, uh, proxy for the carbon taxes and uh, economic growth is measured by the real gdp and then transport services in a year by the percentage of service export from the world development indicator all data has been retrieved from the world development indicator except the environmental regulation which is measured by the carbon taxes from the uh, oecd database and uh, based on this uh, because we are, are using the panel data analysis we have to check either the is there is cross section dependence or not then we also interested if the cross section dependence is uh, there then we have to apply the second generation test such as the by and karen uh, slavery uh, test and then we also interested to find out the co integration test for advanced uh, tests such as wister loan and benjury and uh, c c c f test because uh, to come from the cross section uh, to come from the co integration and then lastly we have used the cross sectional dependence ardl auto regressive distributor lag model to calculate the short run and long run analysis and for the additional robustness and checks we also have the augmented mean group and commonly correlated effective mean group uh, studies for the robustness check of the our results and based on uh, this technique we have a four variable the first one is a green gas emission is measured by carbon emission then transportation environmental reg regulation urbanization and gdp all uh, these variable are uh, shows that the cross dependence is there and significant is made rejecting the null hypothesis that the cross sections of the asian countries are each other cross not dependent so we have to move towards the second generation test rather than the first generation test here uh, we have applied uh, the with the structural break the traditional test with the structural break and without structural break and we have uh, found that the uh, augmented uh, the, uh, the cross sectionally hashim and pisran test and the modified hashim and pisran test for the advanced test has checked the either the level of the integration and it found that, the, uh, that there is no problem uh, with that the test and we also applied the by and karen slavery test 2019 test to check either 
it, within the group they have uh, the some kind of critical value the unit analysis and based on these tests we have found the uh, individual value and also uh, we have a uh, the group value both values show the critical value or greater than the tabulated value it means that the, uh, they reject null hypothesis and it, there is no problem of unit you know, analysis and uh, because we are using the panel data analysis so we are also interested in the heterogeneity issue uh, because we have a small uh, country uh, six countries and the cross section is small we have to check uh, these cross sections independently each other geographically other aspects so either the variation is affecting the one country to another for the different factors so that's why we have applied for heterogeneity analysis and uh, based on heterogeneity analysis that we have checked it there, there's no problem of heterogeneity among across the our given sample and afterward that we have to move towards either these variable are co-integrated or not for that we have uh, check it without break and then we also introduce the mean shift then we also introduce the regime shift so the three different uh, assumptions the three different cases so check the either these countries a cross section are co-integrated or not of these variables so we have found that these variable are co-integrated on based on uh, the group and individual value of Wasserloon and Edgerton tests co-integration tests and uh, then we have to move towards the other test that's the benjury and uh, is developed by because it's allow us to give on the other assumption just like uh, is there a non determinate specification either with a constant with a trend so we have a different other assumptions which are allow us with, within the region we can check it either they have some type of relationship or not so uh, with the help of this test we are concluded that each of the our full sample and then each of our sample country they also have in uh, co-integrated and have a long run relationship among themselves uh, which can be shown from the uh, all three uh, assumptions and then uh, we have moved towards the long run relationship uh, that we have applied for cross section dependence auto regressive distributed lag model and which shows that the transportation ha has a positive impact on carbon emission it means that the increase of transportation enhance the carbon emission in and uh, and while urbanization and gdp also uh, indicate that they, they have a positive impact on carbon emission and which is which overall it means that the transportation urbanization and gdp they pedal up the carbon emission and within these countries and then we are uh, environmental regulation has a negative and statistical positive negative and statistical uh, impact which shows that with the increase of environmental regulation which is a proxy of carbon tax if we increase more carbon tax it are helpful for these countries to decline and mitigate the carbon emission and uh, now we are also interested regarding the short run dynamics and here we can see that uh, the, the results are quite similar to the long run and gdp urbanization and transportation has a positive and significant impact on carbon emission and they are pedal up the carbon emission but on the other end uh, the environmental regulation is going to decline the mitigate the carbon uh, carbon emission for these countries and we also check the error correction term this is a negative and significant which shows that our short run uh, dynamics the short run equilibrium is going to converge the long run equilibrium and uh, it shows that the our economy is on right path if uh, these variable combination can move this uh, speed of 24.7% speed of adjustment towards the long run equilibrium and then uh, based on these uh, we we have found the result there is uh, in our uh, consider economy they have cross independence then we also apply the other advanced test uh, they are at different stationary first different level and then we also confirm the second generation test the variable are co-integrated they have a long relationship and then uh, uh, what is the conclusion the, the crux of the paper is that urbanization transportation economic growth positively affect environmental degradation while the inclusion of environmental regulation has a very good impact and because it decreases the environmental pollution the long run and short run as well so uh, the the robustness as we didn't explain here there, there will be explained our full paper and uh, based on this we have only uh, one policy variable uh, that's environmental regulation other variable from demand side of economy and uh, these variables suggest that environmental cost from the transportation urbanization consider the planning that economic growth targets they pedal up the carbon emission we need to think to revise or increase the carbon uh, tax that is the environmental regulation to mitigate the problem of pollution so we just just based on this policy variable that uh, government can increase the tax rate to uh, in, enhance the environmental to enhance the goals of sustainable development and decrease the environmental pollution 
and uh, thank you so much for listening uh, if there is any question is welcome